Hey there, HomemadeHitShow.com TV viewers. It's Tony again here. we got another show for you today. This one we're back on the tech side of things. A video sent to me by Gary Davis. It's about addictive drums in Reaper and a few other things, I think. You can check us out at HomemadeHitShow.com. Send me your stuff at HomemadeHitShow at gmail.com and stop in the forum to comment on this and other things at HomemadeHitShow.com slash forum. Uh, check it out. Thanks to Gary Davis. We'll put a link in for his music. Another person I'll, I don't think claims to be an expert. He just wants to show you how something works. On with the show. Okay, we're going to use Addictive Drums Demo in Reaper. I've set up a new track, track number one, record armed it and turn on the monitoring so we can hear what we're playing. Um, the demo of Addictive Drums comes with only four sounds. Kick drum, snare, cymbal, hi-hat, all of which you can edit. Um, we'll come to that in a minute. You also get a selection of beats, which are MIDI patterns that you can drag and drop into your project. So we'll do just that if I select uh, a nice straight beat there. Hit play. That's the pattern. If we want to extend that, we just highlight over the edge there, drag it out to our heart's content. We can also obviously mix and match our patterns, so perhaps we want to add a 16th hi-hat pattern in there, so we'll just tag that onto the end. we wanted to change the tempo we can do that once we've uh, dragged the loops in just change the tempo there to 120 beats a minute it doesn't quite sync that up but we can just drag that everything gets resynced as long as you select the sync with tempo of the host button there. Um, what else can we do? This being MIDI patterns here, we can double click on that pattern, which opens up the MIDI ed editor in Reaper, where you can change any of the notes. You can change them to different notes, you change the volume of them by extending these bars. You can play around with the timing if you want to do that, anything you like, totally flexible. And that's the beauty of uh, MIDI. Right, what else? We, we can edit the sound of the indiv individual notes. Uh, if I loop a pattern here, turn on the loop function, hit play. If we start with a kick drum here, perhaps we want to add a bit more thump to that, so turn on the EQ, pull up the low frequencies on that. And you can hear what that's done. Pull that back down again. Same on the hi-hat. Perhaps increase the high frequency on that. A bit harsh, but you get the idea. And that's uh, basically um, addictive drums. Loads more you can do with it, even the demo. Um, but that's for another day. Um, the other thing I was going to show you was um, using audio loops in Reaper. So if I get rid of those, perhaps put that back to 100, get rid of that looping section. Turn the loop off. I've got in the Media Explorer here some Beta Monkey loops which you can basically use in the same way as the MIDI loops, except they're audio. Just audition one of those. That's fine. We can then drag that into our project. And there it shows up, not as individual hits, but as the audio track or waveform. So we can play that. Sounds 
pretty good. Now, the one thing you've got to be sure of if you're going to do this in Reaper is that you make sure your project settings are right and your project settings need to say that your time base is not time, it is beats. Then, if you want to change the tempo, automatically syncs that to the current tempo. We can also cut and paste any part of this loop or all of it. We can drag it out, same as the MIDI loops, to extend it. Or we can highlight a part of it. We'll highlight this fill and we will copy a loop. No, we'll copy selected area of selected items. And then we will paste that. So we should then have two fills at the end of that beat. You can also add um, different uh, loops in, that's no problem. Move seamlessly from one to the other. Pretty cool. Okay, that's basic addictive drums and audio loops in Reaper. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.